Hi, lovely people. Welcome to um, Zop Lady once again. And today I'm happy to announce to you that we have the advanced class and we're going to do a project. And then for my project, I'm going to use um, a recycling um, material to come up with a hair bun. You could use it as a hair bun or you can also use it as a necklace. And I like to take you through um, the materials you need. First of all, you need your yarn. I'm going to use the 3.0 millimeter hook. Of course, your scissors. And then this is uh, one of my leftover, um, a recycle, one of my dresses. Yeah, okay. That I have the elastic part. So that's what I'm going to use for it. Yeah, I, the, the dress was worn out. And I decided to use the elastic bit to make something interesting. Yeah. Okay, and then also a leftover yarn from one of my projects, a white, so, and then also black. And then uh, what I'm going to do is um, a black and white uh, necklace or hair bun. So I'll start with the black um, yarn, yeah. Okay, so now I wrap my, as usual, the usual way to do my um, loop. Yeah, you know it already. So I just do my loop this way yeah okay and then it's tied to the hook and then now i take my uh, recycle um dress yeah so i start from here where the joint is so i wrap the um the hair ba the band around the hook and then i touch the um roll it on my index finger yeah and then now uh, i try so i'm going to do a single crochet all round yeah so i'll teach you how to go about it um so i have this so you see this is the yeah again i wrap it i hold this on my left yeah where the joint is and then also i have my hook beneath it then i take my hook around and then i take it and then I, I do my single crochet so i'll do several single crochet in other to get all the dark so you see i want to wrap this the hanging uh, yarn around it beneath and then i go again yeah so we're doing a single crochet so you will continue so that the band wouldn't show anymore. So by the time you finish, you have a dark um, band. Yeah. So this is how it goes. I wrap, then I continue. Yeah, I wrap again. Yeah, so single crochet all over. So you also have a similar one. So you do it till we meet to the um, joint here. Yeah, so continue. And when you are done, I uh, will take you through the next stage of uh, our work. Yeah, so from now onwards, any work that I'll come, it will be a project that I'm doing and I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you, yeah. So here we go. So you can see there are still some holes here. So I pull my um, yarn so that it's tight here. So this is how you do it all over till the end. So I'll continue and then we meet. Yeah. Hello. So welcome back. Now that you are done with the um, whole um half crochet you will do a slip stitch yeah so you see over here where you started from where you started from you put the uh, hook through here you see it here yeah the two up yeah and then you pull your and do a slip stitch yeah and then you cut your yarn Cut your yarn 
and then you do a slip knot yeah yeah so this is done now this is how our work look like now we're going to make start with our white combination yeah hello now that you are done with your round yeah you cut your yarn yeah i've just done that and then i'm going to add because i told you you're doing black and white so now i'm going to um do my design with the white so as usual you do your slip knot yeah so that you are able to start Do your slip knot yeah and pull it to the hook and then now you see where we ended we're going to start with our work so you put your hook through the chain here yeah you see okay and then now you start with your work now once I'll yarn over this black and then the white. So I'll make three chains representing my double crochet. Yeah. Three chains to represent my double crochet. Yeah. So one, two, three. Okay, so this represents double crochet. And then now for the design we are going to do, I have to do two spaces. So I add two, okay, one, two. And then now I yarn over, I do a double crochet. And then over here, I count one, two, three. In the third chain, I put my hook and I do a double crochet, yeah. And then I make chain two, again, one, two. Then I, dub, I wrap my yarn around my hook. And then the same spot where I did my two i put my hook through and then do a double crochet if you realize we have a v look um design and that's what we are going to do all over and then we'll end here so i do another two chain so there should be two chains intervals yeah two and then i count one two and then in the third chain i put my hook through yeah Put my hook two one and yeah so one two and then the same same place yeah okay and then another two one two okay then I do one two three in the third chain I do and then another two chains okay and then i insert it in the same place yeah another two one two chains and then i count one two and the third chain i put my hook through yeah so you do all two out one two and then in the same spot yeah okay so one two and then you count one two three in the third chain and you put it through yeah then again one two and then the same spots so. okay so if you watch carefully we have our v shape yeah so we're going to do all around to the end so um i will pause I'll do a last one and then you continue. One, two, and then we count one, two in the third chain. Yeah. Then one, two. Again, there. Okay. So you also do your work and then let's meet at um, the end and then I'll show you exactly what we have to do again.
yeah so now that you have come to the end of your work we'll do a slip stitch at the beginning don't forget you count one one two three yeah and then you do a slip stitch so in the third chain yeah so in the third chain you do a slip stitch yeah and then you pull it pull it to yeah so now it's joined then now we do three chains again one two three yeah after you are done with your three chains after you're done with your three chains you do a double crochet five double crochet in this v yeah so we'll do five double crochet in this v so one two three four five you know we do seven sorry five one two three four five yeah five six and then seven yeah you can also choose to do five you can also choose to do seven but i like to do seven and then you see the two chains you have here yeah you just do a, a half crochet yeah you do a half crochet and then you move to the next v you do another seven so we'll do like three or four of that and then you continue and then we meet each other again and then i tell you what to do again yeah three four five six and seven okay now we'll put our hook and we'll do a half crochet yeah okay so have you seen how our work is looking so i'll do two more and then now you continue i also continue and then we get back and then i show you exactly what we'll do again okay so seven more in this one two three four five six and seven yeah okay and then the chain here the two chain here we do a half yeah and then we go yeah have you seen how our work is looking so our necklace or hairband yeah depending on what you want to use it for so i'll do a last one okay and then we continue and then we'll get back again so seven as i said you can either do five or seven two three four five six and seven and then yeah the two chain and then if you can't um you know one thing about crocheting is you need to understand the pattern because if you lose track of um the pattern it makes it difficult and one clue i would um, advise you to be doing is anytime you are doing any of your work you have to look over your work to check if you are maintaining the same pattern yeah okay so see you when you get here yeah so hi lovely people so now that you have finished with this round your vv 
now you do a chain of three so one two three yeah okay and then now you put your double crochet in this v we're going to do um seven yeah just like we did with the white one if you also want to end it here too you can also end it here yeah you also want to do um the seven or five you can also continue so this is how your work looks like yeah so far so we'll continue um, with this i do about two and then you continue and then we meet and then of course this is my last run so this is Yeah. Okay, so this is I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And the last one seven okay so the double crochet and then now we do a half crochet here okay then you do another double um seven crochet here double crochet seven of that yeah so one two three four five six and seven yeah and then over here on top of this place you do a uh, half crochet yeah so just have a look we've done two this is how our work is going to look like yeah and then now you are done with your design so i'm going to continue and i'm sure you're also going to continue so i'll do one more so you have a look and then now we will be done with it and then it's ready to wear as a necklace or a hairband too three four five six six and the last one seven and as i had already indicated most of my work i like to wear it in different ways not just one way i don't like just doing one particular work and then you can only use it for just one stuff i like to have double usage yeah okay so if you are confused somewhere you can also go back yeah stop and then go back so so far i'm sure now you're having a clearer picture on how of course later when i'm done i would um, use the needle to stitch this ones in and then you have a neat work so okay so now we have three maybe i do a last one a last one for it and then it will be ready to wear and then make a little photo shoot and then show it to you yeah so drop me a comment and let me know how far if you finish with the, this work send a picture of it and share let's have a look at it yeah so this is five so two more to go yeah okay so continue on your own and then and sometimes you see me on time because maybe my hook didn't get it well so two two three seven and then now uh, over here yeah okay so now i'm sure the picture is now clear yeah isn't it so beautiful yeah, so you can wear it with a black dress. You can wear it with a white dress. And 
it will look beautiful okay so come on let's do it together yeah and then you show me your work so we'll meet here again yeah yeah that's starting point we'll meet here and then we we'll show our finished work okay this one is a bit longer so i'll just pull it through here so i use the needle to do it i stitch it yeah stitching it through the chains up here yeah and then same here yeah and then i want to end somewhere here so i just pull it through it yeah and then i'll end here so then i pull the needle through this so that i make a knot yeah yes and this is done this is the last so this is the last one the last black that i'm trying to firm well also same i could go this way i can also come this way so i'm doing it this way yeah just pull it through this way yeah like this because my yarn is so long so i could do to the end or as well also cut somewhere because when you do this it's also difficult for the yarn to come out is um yeah so i'll pull it through i didn't get all so i have to take it out again and then make sure i get everything yeah yeah so i just do one more one more through it yeah so i'll end here and then i'll cut my yarn yeah yeah so you see then you pull it through yes you have to push it up so now it's out of the can take my and then now you've secured your work now i cut it and voila this is done so we don't have any hanging stuff so this is our necklace you can see it our necklace let's take this away yeah so this is our black necklace or hairband as however you want to use it yeah that is it okay and then i also show you another one that i have done yeah i also used a different color yes so you can use any color you like of your choice also and don't forget this are recycle work you know out of um leftover yarn and then a recycled dress yeah so here we go yeah you can see it so as usual don't forget oh isn't it looking so lovely are they not looking so lovely yeah okay so as usual don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend about zop lady and thank you so much for watching and then share it with friends and family and then you also give it a try and then let's start yearning it's uh, let's start crotchet and it's really interesting beautiful it's really um refreshing to crotchet something you know yeah okay thank you so much see you in my next video bye bye